Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Sure. Here is a tutorial on array buffer in JavaScript. An array buffer object is used to represent a generic, fixed length raw binary data buffer. It allows you to work with binary data directly without needing to worry about character encoding. Array buffer is particularly useful when dealing with network protocols, file I.O., and other situations where you need to work with binary data. Here is how you can create an array buffer in JavaScript. In this example, we first create an array buffer object with a size of 10 bytes. We then create a data view object to work with the buffer. The data view object allows us to read and write various types of data, example integers, floats, at specific byte offsets within the buffer. You can also create type array views on top of an array buffer to work with specific data types like int8 array, uint8 array, int16 array, uint16 array, int32 array, uint32 array, float32 array, and float64 array. In this example, we create a uint32 array view on top of the array buffer object. This allows us to work with unsigned 32-bit integers within the buffer. Array buffer and typed array objects provide a powerful way to work with binary data in JavaScript, making them essential tools for tasks involving low-level data manipulation. I hope this tutorial helps you understand how to use array buffer in JavaScript. Let me know if you have any questions.